Hey everybody, how you doing today? I'm Craig and welcome to Air Pop Control. Today we are going to open up a Poptopia box and uh, we'll get to that one right after this. Alright, I am back and uh, before we do anything, of course, like always, got to say hi to the post office folks. Hi to my grandkids. And if you would, please hit that subscribe button down below. And uh, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to be notified of the next video, hit that bell notification. We'll let you know. Okay, before we get to the box, one other thing. I got a notification from a friend of mine over at uh, Funko Asylum. He uh, let me know that uh, the Silver Hair Wolf is get closing, closing on 1,500 subscribers, which is very good for her. I believe I'm already a subscriber. Uh, so I thought I'd ask... Anybody here, if you would, go over there and uh, subscribe to her channel and tell her Air Pop Control said hi or something, or she, I might not even know who I am, but uh, go there and let's get her over 1,500 if you can. It'd be great. Um, okay, back to this box. All right. As has happened in the last few of my videos, <laughs> and I know it's not my post office, folks, but I got another box that's kind of well, a little messed up. It's kind of opened up here. And a little, little banged up in some places. You can see here in the corner. I don't know what's going on. Uh, I think maybe they're uh, letting go a bunch of people that they had at Christmas or something. I don't know. And they're, <coughs> they're not happy kicking boxes. Who knows? Uh, but anyhow, I'm going to open up that one. Uh, here's the info on it. Now I'm going to throw up the glam shots. Now, this is a Poptopia box. This is a Wednesday mystery box. Uh, there's a total of 63 boxes in this run. So there's 63 of them. Each box will contain two Funkos. And as you can see from the uh, pictures I just put up, the glam shots there, you're going to get one Funko Pop from the pictures. Uh, there's uh, the three top hits, and then there's another one of the, all the rest of them, uh, the, of the 60, the 60 other pops, I should say. Um, you get one of those. I was looking at those, and... Uh, there's some good ones. I'll get to those in just a second. Let me read this. <laughs> the other one's going to be a, a random, uh, exclusive, or common Funko Pop. So you get one of the picture and one Funko, two Pops. Uh, you get a, It's $25 a box, guaranteed value. And so you're going to get your money back on this one. Um, you're going to get a, a pop protector on each pop. I sometimes screw that up because I forget which uh, companies give you the protectors, but Poptopia does on all their pops. Um, and the rest of the stuff is just a standard, uh, you know, stuff to disclaimers, standard for mystery boxes. Now, um, I've always done very well with PopW. I, I, it's one of my go-to places. I like them. Uh, I've always gone over value on them. Uh, I don't expect to do it all the time, but I have pretty much so far. Um, let's talk about the top hits. Okay, they've got Pebbles, I think was one. Uh, I think she was running uh, about $105, I think. I, think. I wrote it down. Let me see. Right, right. Yeah, around 105 last time I looked. Uh, Loki, it's a glow one. Um, I think that was running about 65. And Cara Dune, number 356. Now, I have several Cara Dunes over here. My Star Wars collection's over in this corner. Um, and I, But I don't have that one. I don't really collect Star Wars other than what I I, I just have them. Um, and it's only about, it's running about $36 right now. But, and, you know, that one's been going up because of uh, what happened over there. But, uh, so those are... Possible hits, you know, and it's not not big, huge numbers here. We're not talking about for twenty-five dollars a box. It's not bad, um, and you're guaranteed to get your twenty-five back anyway. Now, if you look at that page, the other page on there where the rest of the hits are for the, the pop you're going to get, there's a lot of chases there, and everybody knows I collect chases. There's two full rows of chases, I think, the top two rows. Um, I would, there's several up there that I would like to have. I, I have several of them, but. There's a lot I don't have. I'm just going to briefly run through a few of them that I would love to have. Robin, Jack Torrance, Tokjo, Tokjo, I can't pronounce it, T-O-K-J-O, I can't. Uh, Visions 50, uh, Roy, Raj Betty or Roy Betty, a Black Panther. I do collect Black Panthers, and I don't have that chase. Uh, the Rock, I'd love to have The Rock. Left Eye from uh, uh, the music band, uh, I'd like to have her because I just picked up the other one, one of the other ones the other day. Dopey I'd like to have, and then the uh, Imperator, Imperiosia, whatever, I don't, I don't have that one either. 
So uh, there's some stuff I could get. Uh, now chances, you know, who knows. But uh, and if I get something that I already have, that's okay too. And some of the non-chases were pretty good also. So there's there's really a chance. Now here I bought four of these boxes. So I bought $100 worth of them. Uh, so there will be eight pops in here. Uh, the box, again, is damaged. They are in protector, so the damage it doesn't look really, really bad, but you can never tell. I've, I've had worse... Or less than this and had some bad pops that got damaged but you just never know so we'll go ahead and open it see how we did all right let's see which slightly here we go come on didn't have to cut all the tape on that one because it was already cut open or not cut ripped open right. okay now this is the way poptopia does it now if I remember right, I should know because I go to these people all the time. I think they put a, uh, they're the ones that put the piece of paper in there to tell you whether it's a chase or an exclusive. I never look at those um, because with this, you're pretty much going to get one in each of them anyway. Uh, so I should have four pieces of paper in here, maybe, maybe three, whatever it is. And they should be in there, I think they're right side up, and they should be wrapped individually. They're wrapped individually. I can kind of see the top, but I can't really. So they're all individually wrapped in that brown paper. Uh, the ones with a uh, sticker on them will have a price for the sticker pop. So I'm just going to go. There should be four stickered ones. Okay, and they got all four in this row over here, the far row. So I'll start on this row towards me. Sit here, and we'll just uh, yeah, we'll get up there. Do these first. Now again, I don't know what is what because they're all in protectors. So, this is, you know, they come each individually wrapped like this. So the first one, pop it right over, see the right front here. It should be, that should be the top, and that should be the front. Okay, you ready? One, two, three. Okay, we got Star Trek, Saru, Saru. You know what's funny is I've only gotten one Star Trek, uh, you know, all this time I've been collecting all these pops, and I've got tons of them in the house all over the place. I've only got one other Star Trek, and all these, and I don't have this one. So that's pretty cool. I don't have a clue on how much these things are worth. But they're kind of old school looking. I think it's not an old school pop at all. No, it's a 2020 pop. So probably not worth a whole lot, but uh, we'll see. Yeah. Next one. Next one. And again, we're still working with camera and placement and stuff, so it may be a little different every time you log on here to look at my videos. So just trying to figure it all out, what gives me the best light and camera stuff. So that should be the back and that should be the top. One, two, three. She-Ra from Masters Universe. Uh, I don't know if I have this one. I've got uh, that one of those rows is all Masters Universe. I'll have to look. I think I might have She-Ra. I'm not 100% positive. I don't know. That doesn't look familiar, though. That's, I like Masters Universe. This is the retro one. No, I do not have this. I don't have the retro one. Oh, that's good. Cool. Because my retro toys are over there. Boxes are over there. And this is uh, probably a 2020 pop as well. I don't see it on here. Yeah, it is. 2020. Okay, so those are just comments. We're going to do all the comments first. So that was Masters Universe. I did it pretty well, I think, the, the, the top ones. Okay, ready? One, two, three. Fast times at Richmond High. Is that what that was? Yeah, it sure is. Linda Barrett. Okay, folks, if you haven't seen Fast Times at Richmond High, if you're old enough, go see it. <laughs> it's a funny movie. It's really a blast. I mean, this is, I watched that when I was younger, but wow. I don't know if this is an original Fast... I don't know if they made a sequel to that or not. I can't tell you. I remember the original one. The pizza being delivered to the guy in the uh, classroom. Classic. Classic stuff. Yeah, I think this is a 2020 pop also. Cool. Well, that's all right. I like it. And, you know, I'm going to actually probably keep this one just because I, it kind of is pretty neat, you know. Reminds me of old days. That's why I keep a lot of these pops. Okay, and the last of the comments. Hey, ready? One, two, three. <laughs> we got, oh wait a minute, oh we got She-Ra, 
We, okay, we got she -Ra. This is a Glow Specialty Series. And here's it compared to the other one, who is not a Glow. And I will put up the Glow here, if I remember. It should come up right about now. Um, and I'm going to put this one next to it, see if that glows by it. I'm, I'm kind of curious. Maybe they both glow. Who knows? All right, so that's cool. Huh. If I don't have she and I'll let you know. I'm looking over here to see if I can see it. Um, I'll let you know when I come back with prices. Okay, we're going to go to the uh, the top hits of each box. Again, I don't know which pop went with which box, so we're just going to have to see what happens there. And I don't know the prices on any of those. Those are the uh, commons, I guess. Sorry. Not used to have all that background. All right. Here we go. Ready? One, two, three. Ha! The rock chase. Yeah. And that's what I said. I would love to have the rock. Cool. I got it. Yeah, there's a sticker on it. it says the price, but I'll, I'll look those up. The, the price has changed so much on Pop Price Guide, you never know. Cool. I got the rock. Now, I haven't said anything about box condition because they're all in protectors, but... I haven't seen any issues with this and with Poptopia. I've rarely had a problem. Let's see if I can get the glare off there. There you go. Uh, so uh, yeah, that's uh, that's cool. That's that's good. That's I, one I wanted. That is definitely one I wanted. I'll be keeping that one for sure. I think I have the, no, I don't even know if I have the common yet. Again, I'll have to look up. I got common. Okay, the next one. I did glance at the color, and every time I say I glance at the color, you guys know what it is. It's a Dragon Ball Z, I think. <laughs> right? One, two, three. Oh, this is Glow in the Dark Super Saiyan Gohan. I think I have this one already. This is the uh, uh, Entertainment Earth exclusive. These, I, I can't remember what the value of these are. Some of these uh, Dragon Ball Z ones, they just confuse me because, first off, I can't pronounce half the names, and they... Uh, they go up and down in value so much that I just can't figure out a lot of them. And I, I do have that, uh, this guy right here, Rainbow, is that his name? I can't read it, I can't read it. Anyway, yeah, so I've got a whole wall of these things. <laughs> that's not a collection, that's a, I want to sell <laughs> walls. Okay, next one, so we got two more left. Oh, here's the, uh, Here's those papers I was telling you about to tell you that, you know, whether you got, yeah, there's four of them here, whether you got a chase or an exclusive or something. So we got four of them that are at least a chase or an exclusive. All right, this is the pop number seven. There we go. Right. One, two, three. Ha <laughs> ha, Black Panther chase. I don't have it. Let's go, like I was saying earlier, I collect uh, Black Panthers or a whole bunch of them down there. I don't see, know if you can see them there. Probably see a few of them down at the bottom, but uh, I don't have the chase of this one. Sweet, that'll go good with my collection too. There's at least two th or three that I'm going to be keeping, and the last one out of the box. I've been having some pretty good luck with the, these boxes lately, and that and just meant no damage at all. I've seen it on any of these, but they are in protectors. But even looking at the inside of the box, you can see this stick out here. Look at this corner down here in this bottom left. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, look at that corner. It's all crunched in. And the pop that was there, I didn't see any damage on it. So protectors do help, folks. Keep your uh, stuff in protectors if you can, uh, especially when shipping, because you never know. Ready? One, two, three. The Office, Michael Klump. I know I I, I don't collect Office. Again, you will see that whole upper shelf up uh, there. Yeah, put it there. Those are all Office pops. And uh, I just get them. I don't, I don't really collect them. I just have them. I haven't gotten rid of them yet. I don't think this is very valuable. It's showing the $17 on the sticker, which I assume is what it is. I don't know. I know nothing about that, to be honest. All right, folks, that's it. I'm going to go and do some prices and be right back. I'm, gonna, I'm happy right now. I'm very happy this box. I don't care what. I've got at least three I'm keeping. Yeah, I'm going to keep three of them. I'll be back in a few. See ya. All right, folks, I am back with some prices, and uh, we'll start out with the four commons, I guess. Um, 
You have to remember the pop price guide has been way over all around the place lately. So uh, they did say on these, I looked it up, it, that these were priced as of February 24th. Um, yeah, that was only four days ago, five days ago. Uh, today's the 1st of March. Uh, is it, well, I'll, show, I'll tell you when we get to that point. But anyway, let's start with uh, Linda Barrett from Fast Times at Ridgemont High. Linda is running about $10. Now, every box was in perfect condition, mint as far as I could tell. I took them all out and looked at them. Didn't see anything wrong with them. But uh, if anybody decides to buy any of these that I'm going to put, put up for sale, go down to my link down below, my pop price guide. Everything on there is for sale. That's not what I have in my collection here. Those are things that I have for sale. There's about 500 of them. Um, and uh, if you do decide you want one of these pops or anything that I have there, I always take pictures of them. And uh, you'll see, and I'll tell you every little mark on it, a ding or whatever. If whatever's on it, I'll let you know. All right, so $10 for Linda. The next one is Saru, Star Trek. Um, I don't think I'm going to keep Saru because... I just don't want to get into another collect. I got so many collections going right now, but uh, this is my second Star Trek one. So, so Saru is going for twelve dollars. Twelve dollars. Okay. The next one we've got Shira. Shira. This is not the glow in the dark. This is the regular one. I do not have this. I do not have this Shira, and this one is running uh, sixteen dollars. Sixteen dollars for Shira. And then. She-Ra, the same one, both number 38. This is a glow-in-the-dark. This is the Funko Specialty Series exclusive. I do have this one. This one I already have. And this one is running at uh, $21. $21 for She-Ra. And all those will be going up for sale. And on my list down below. Um, now let's go over. Okay, well, for that, uh, uh, for the comments. Now, I paid $100 for, for these four boxes, $25 each. Um, for these four commons, it came to $59. That's over half the price of the box right there, and they're the lower end of these, supposedly. So, you know, we should do, do well, I would think. And I used Pop Price Guide. Uh, there were a couple ones I had questions on, so I went and used their, uh, the uh, DB app to, uh, for Pop Price Guide, and it actually was different. So I was kind of glad I checked and double-checked a couple things. But uh, anyway, we'll start with Dragon Ball Z. They had this one marked as $11, and it actually, the glow-in-the-dark exclusive from Entertainment Earth, $9. $9 is what it's showing. Again, PPG prices change every day, so I, it may be wrong. Who knows? I, I'm not sure. Okay, so $9 for that one, and I'm not sure, but I think there was a gentleman, Danny, I, I think, from Southern California. He just bought a bunch of pops for me, and uh, I think he was asking about one of those. I'm not sure if it was Gohan or Goku, but I will... Check with him probably and see if, if Danny, if you're watching this, get a hold of me if that's the one you wanted. Okay, uh, Michael Klump from The Office. Again, I do not collect The Office, even though I have a whole bunch of them up there. The Office, uh, Michael is going for uh, $19. Oh, I'm you know, I made a mistake. It was not $9 on Super Saiyan. This, they showed 11 It was actually $14. This is one where I went on Prop Price Guide. It was $9, and I just couldn't get it. I didn't understand why I didn't show as a glow and it was the only one they had on there so then I went to the DB app and I pulled it up and this showed as $14 as a glow so $14 for that one I apologize for that folks I forgot to tell you that so Michael Klump from the office is $19 $19 all right and the two of the bigger hits I guess the, in the boxes were uh, uh, one of my favorite, of course, is The Rock. I do not collect WWE stuff, but I, you know, watch The Rock and TV as television programs, and I've always liked them. I, you know, I don't know why, I just kind of did. And it's a chase. I, who doesn't like a chase? And, and you can't see them, but I have over 50 of them up there, and they're up on the top upper shelves. Um, but I'll be keeping this one, definitely. Um, this one, uh, The Rock was running uh, $37. $37 for The Rock. That one will be staying with me. And this one is another one I had a, a little confusion over. Uh, okay, this is uh, Black Panther. I do collect ba Black Panthers. I told you they're down there. But I do not have the chase. I don't think I do. I, I really didn't look up there. I don't think I have the chase, though. Um, so uh, if I don't have it, I'll be keeping this one. Um, 
Now this is a, there's something unusual about this. There's like six variants of this, I think. There's a blue glow, a red glow, or something. Like that. There's different colored glows, but this isn't a glow. This is just a chase. Then so then it has the chase mask, which this is appears to be the chase mask. They're showing a value on this of fifty-seven dollars. And I checked, and it's uh, I mean it's thirty-nine dollars. But that's that's still I mean you're going close to twenty dollars difference there, and they just checked prices four days ago five days ago, so I had to go look at the prices on PBG and I, they have an algorithm and it shows all the prices if you don't know this you can go and check the prices on what day the prices were, and I checked for the twenty fourth the day they said that they did these, and it was thirty five dollars on that day thirty four between thirty four and thirty six I think they said varied. Um, so I don't know where they got this number from. They may not be using PPG. They may be using the Funko app. They may be using whatever. I don't know. eBay, for all I know. But, uh, yeah, that one, $39 for that one. So that gave us for the uh, the exclusives, the top hits of each box, a total of $109 just for the top hits. There's four pop boxes, four pops. So with you mix those two together, I, my total was $168. I paid $100, and not count shipping, can't count shipping. They got to get them here somehow. So I made a sixty-eight dollar profit on this box, I, or four boxes, I should say. Very happy with it. Like I tell people all the time, Poptopia is one of my go-to places just because they are that good. I like them that much. They, they always produce good stuff. They give me good hits, and I, I never have much to complain about. All right, folks, that's it. I've rambled and done stuff. Uh, go back to that uh, uh, silver-haired uh, and give her your. Uh, Say hi to her and uh, sub uh, their, her show to get her over 1500 That'd be nice. And and we'll be back. I've got several boxes coming in. i got some much higher price boxes coming in, $100 and plus dollar boxes coming real soon here. I'm trying to remember who they were from. I think Sergio at Surge Up. Uh, I just picked one up from DC Pops just minutes before I did this uh, this uh, filming. So uh, DC Pops has got one for 120 I think I paid for that one. So I got several coming in, uh, so we'll have some higher price boxes to go through. Folks, you take it easy out there, and I will talk to you all later.